Now, I said I'd get to this more later after Kurt leaves us. I've got to get into this major medical study that's come out that women and men's brains are different. Now, the next study will be that men and women are different. Oh, that's sexist. You mean I can't have a baby? <laughs> that's that's anti-male. I demand at birth the government build me an artificial womb so that I can, uh, you know, have children. I mean, this is just incredible, ladies and gentlemen. And just shows how they're trying to create a new dark age of ignorance. I want to tell you about that. Uh, but uh, right now, Kurt Nemo, who's been with the crew, I don't know, eight years or so, moved out here three, four years ago from New Mexico to actually be in Austin, Texas. And I'm always trying to twist his arm to come on air because he's got you know, great analysis and is just a great uh, you know, brain to have around the office. And he's usually like, oh, no, I don't want to go on. But he was, keeps writing about all, all these attacks on Internet freedom, Internet free speech, not just here, but worldwide. SOPA, CISPA, Internet taxes. He said, yeah, I'll come on. So uh, here is Kurt Nemo, who also uh, is the editor of Infowars.com and his joint duties with Paul Watson. They both edit Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And here he is with us in studio. Kurt, I mean, it's really happening, just like on every front. They're trying to get their whole agenda through right now. I think, I know, because they know there's an awakening happening. The question is, in this race to the finish line, what's going to happen? Go over some of what we see with the war on the press and now the war on the internet itself uh, with the big internet giants uh, cheerleading along with this. Uh, the power to tax is the power to destroy, to quote George Washington. And uh, we're now looking down the barrel of this. Tell folks about your article from yesterday. Well, on Monday, this, uh, the Supreme Court decided to not hear a case between Amazon and Overstock.com about challenging the uh, Market Fairness Act, which is, or, or excuse me, the Marketplace Fair Fairness Act that the Senate passed um, taxing the Internet. So, um, in essence, what happened is, is they refused to hear the case. So what's going to happen is, is the states are free to impose taxation. Yeah, they didn't overturn or hear the earlier case saying we can tax the Internet to any point we want. Yeah. And so now get ready. Absolutely. So, By the way, you already pay taxes on all the telecommunications, on all the phones, on all the infrastructure. You already, we already built the infrastructure. That's right. So it's taxes on taxes on taxes. Well, the states are real hot to do this because obviously they're, they, they need the revenue, so they're going after this. And there's thing. never going to be enough money for these bloodsuckers. That's right. That's right. they got to pay all their government workers their pensions and everything else. So, By the way, te Texas really has a franchise tax and a business tax that is a sales tax. And it's only a couple percent right now. They're about to jack it up. So they're just, they won't stop until they've wrecked everything. Right. But what's significant about this is it's an attack on the Commerce Clause of the, uh, of the Constitution and also the 14th Amendment uh, Due Process Clause. Um, that states particularly that you have to have a presence in a state to tax a business. And states aren't supposed to be able to tax outside their state. Right. Well, the Commerce Clause was, was created to facilitate um, competition between the states, not impede it. That's right. And the feds have used it to actually dominate the states, but now they're going to let the states engage in their own uh, savage attack on the... Well, we saw this coming when Roberts uh, sided with the, the uh, in the Obamacare decision to uh, allow, uh, you know, the IRS and the government to, uh, you know... Well, we already get, I haven't done stories on this yet, but I've got all the letters threatening New York and California letters going, we are the state ordering you. And of course, it's all fraud. They can't just order me. We are ordering you under penalty of perjury and everything to answer our questions about your business and in California and everything you've done back 10 years. And, and, we, and I sent a letter back saying, go to hell. Right. Because, you're, you know, I'm not operating with the business inside your stinking, filthy, New World Order run cesspit. Right. Well, the commerce. And now their tentacles are shooting out to suck my blood here. Right. The commerce clause says it's, it's like North Korea. Just sending me a letter. Go ahead. There has to be a nexus, what they call a nexus between the seller. And I have no nexus with North Korea or California. You have no physical buildings there, no representatives. So therefore, it's illegitimate under the commerce clause for them to tax you there. And again, a lot of Californians that came here for liberty are the best people around, like Darren McBrain, people. He's really from Arizona, but he lived out in California. But the new ones coming, they're literally, they don't know why they wreck California or why they can't get a job. They're literally here commanding me that I can't have three kids, commanding me, ruling me, uh, reporting everybody that has guns in the country shooting. I mean, they are here to rule. And they are. They're ruling and just spewing everywhere. Disgusting filth. I'm sorry. It was the government of California that, that caused that immigration to the state. And like you said, they'll wreck it here, too. Oh, they, they will wreck everything. They'll bring their PC lodge. When they're done, they're going to wreck everything to hell. Yep. They love it. Misery loves company. And they're so stupid. They're so dumb. They don't know how, what filth they are and what scum they are. I'm sorry. You know, we should hate them. Enemies.
I was going to say, this, this is also piles on top of CISPA as well, which attacks the Fourth Amendment. So they're going, they're using the internet to attack the Constitution on multiple fronts. This is just not... Yeah, I'm opinion. sorry, you're here about internet censorship. Tell us about all the loving stuff that the filth is engaged in. Well, with CISPA, what they do is they, they said that they could check your internet communications, uh, surveil you under the rubric of, um, of um, uh, cybersecurity. So what they're saying is, is that the Fourth Amendment doesn't apply anymore to internet communications, that they can just go in, you know, with this phony terror war and, and see if you're a cybersecurity threat. So... Well, here's an example. There's many famous cases of, of, of an engineer, you know, 500 years ago, 1,000, in many cases, being marooned in a primitive area. If you got marooned and you were a criminal, you'd later read about another explorer came by and found out, you know, they killed the guy. But if you were somebody that could help them and give them science, you'd end up, you know, forming a new dynasty and ending up being the chief of the tribe. And it's the same thing. I don't care if you're black, white, Hispanic, old, young. you got something to add. You want to be free. You want to join the team. You don't want to be a parasite. I want to, I want to be around you. But you want to come here and wreck my life and make me your slave and, and, and morally get on a high horse and lecture me all day because you're accepting the vomit out of the government. And the average Californian literally cannot tie their shoelaces. And, does, and you see the Mark Dice videos. That's, that's not edited. That's what they're, they do not know what planet they're on. You can say we're going to murder all the gun owners. They'll sign it for Obama. We're going to make Obama dictator. They'll sign the petition uh, and go, yeah. you want to make him a dictator? They go, yeah, I do. It's time to shut everybody. I mean, they're ready to put us in labor camps, Kurt, and they will. That's what freaking commies do. These people are the enemy. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Their ignorance, their weakness, and their, their arrogant, scum-filled attitude that, be, that we've got to bow to them and suck the pus out of their green breast. I will have no part of it. Go ahead. I was going to say that's endemic across the country. It's just not California. I mean, it it's moved from the East Coast to the West Coast. You know, I mean, it's eating its way into the middle. And Texas is going to be a hard push for that because. And notice they declare us the enemy everywhere on the news. Yeah. Oh, they, they want their guns and their Bibles, and they work. And they, they men are still men. Put more poison in their water. Teach them. They'll prance around like trendy soon enough. Disgusting. Now, was that didn't mean to rant, Kurt? It's okay. Because I'm thinking about Californians. And we're on a bunch of affiliates out in California, and the people in California are great that are awake, but they're like people in Nazi Germany. And they're just literally, I mean, they want 55-year-old men to be able to go in little girls' bathrooms yeah. and look at them. They recently passed a law where you can't smoke in your own house in California. If you, you know, Hitler did that. Yeah, I know. Well, Hitler was anti-tobacco anti, anti big time. But they passed a law recently where if you have a house that's conjoined with another house, like a duplex, then you can't smoke. But the point is, is that they do it all saying it's for the betterment of everybody. It, it's a bunch of lawless crooks. I mean, look at Acorn and all these people. Yeah. You can go in the Democratic offices and go, we're going to run child sex slaves. Oh, good. Let us help you. We're going to run giant scams, bring down America, you know, Hal Stalin. Oh, yeah, we love it. Tell me more about the Internet censorship, Kurt. Well, this, this particular bill is not necessarily Internet censorship, but what it will do is... And as a matter of fact, I have to stipulate that if you make less than a million dollars or you earn less than a million dollars in Internet sales, this law, as it currently stands in the Senate version, does not apply to you. But that's the way they always are. Absolutely. Like the income tax was only on millionaires, that's and now right. look at it. That's right. Absolutely. So for now, it's not going to affect small people selling stuff on eBay or a small Etsy business or something's not going to be affected. But a larger operation... It's going to be effective. And again, the reason all the big corporations really aren't battling it that much, Amazon is a little bit for now, is they'll just create subsidiaries. They'll never pay any tax. Or they'll go offshore. They'll run their operation in the Netherlands or Germany or something. Or on Google barges. Or Google barges. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. That's what they're for. Probably. Come on, Kurt. What's wrong with an Amazon drone? I thought the uh, barges were for, for like uh, fun houses for Google Glasses. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, Kurt. Um, looking at all this, there was a point I was going to make, and you brought up the Google fun houses, and that brought up some images. Um, they have like these, they have like these flying sex palaces on these big jumbo jets and the rest of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, the point is, it, but but they don't want us to have any privacy. But but they're obsessed with privacy. The head of Google makes women wear wear, wear like those Michael Jackson veils, okay. like his kids have to wear. But but then but then they want all our stuff to be known. You talking about Schmidt? Does yeah yeah. Oh wow. Schmidt looks like he dresses up in pig outfits at night or something. <laughs> I mean, they're like eyes wide shut type stuff. Oh, boy. I mean, that's just what I see. But no, seriously, 
What do you make of the surrealness, Kurt, of the way the world's getting right now? Well, it's just the it's the over the top aspects of the police state and totalitarianism in the modern age with technology. I mean, it's just like you said, it's over the top, it's crazy, but a lot of people don't see it. They they just they're wrapped up in their you know, their television and like you're talking about earlier football games and so Oh yeah, people really think the television is the world. Absolutely. All these fantasy characters. Yeah, it's dangerous. It really is. I mean, yeah, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. It really is. Um America is the epicenter of it. And I never thought, I've said I will never evacuate it, but I mean, it's like the walking dead now. I mean, how do you get away from the zombie trendy masses? Well, a lot of people are going off the grid and moving away from the, the population centers just to get away from it. I mean, But Michael Moore says that's racist. Well, of course, Michael Moore would say that. I mean, he also believes that um, you should have a dog to protect yourself when somebody... But he should have six bodyguards with guns. Absolutely. Absolutely. Same thing with the Pearl Jam guy. By the way, he says it's violating his First Amendment if we disagree with him. Did he say that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he actually said that. These people have no concept of what the First Amendment and the Bill are about. <laughs> well, the thing is, they're not liberals, Kurt. We're liberals. Right. That, 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 we want freedom. We're classical liberals. Yeah, these people are foaming at the mouth morons is what they are. Well, socialists always turn into totalitarian thugs. It's, it's, it's inevitable. <coughs> History shows it over and over and over. From Hitler to Mussolini to, to Obama. You know, just they consolidate power and turn into thugs. And they go, they're fascist. That's what socialism always turns into. You look at the Soviet Union. That's fascism. It was. Right. Well, fascism, classically, Mussolini said, is corporatism. So it's large business and, and government merging, working together. Yeah, communism is if the corporations are offshore, then they set up communism to suck everything out and go, it's a people's paradise. If the corporations are in your country, they call it fascism right. because they then exempt themselves. It's a looting operation, basically. Which is what Dylan Radigan said, and they're like, you're out of MSNBC. Yeah. He made some good points. Well, I bring it up because he was having a panic attack on air. Imagine being around all those plastic fake people all day, spewing lies at folks. And then he starts telling a little bit of the truth and gets top ratings. And then finally just flips out on them so they don't renew his contract. Right. And, and, and all these corporations think they can spew all this bull on us through their state-run media and be insulated from it. They're not insulated in their country clubs. They're not insulated. This is all already coming back on them. They're deluded. They, they don't understand. I mean, uh, well, they're building bunkers and they're, they're, they're preparing themselves. Oh, yeah, there's an article on InfoWars. Tell yes. folks, a record number of bunkers being yeah, built by the elite. I didn't read it, so I don't know what it's about. But, yeah, they've been doing that. They did the seed vaults up in the North Pole, up in the northern regions of the... Of the, you know, up in uh, the Arctic Circle. So they're building and they're getting ready and there's tunnels all over the place. So they're getting ready. That's to racist. It is racist. Against moles. <laughs> By the way, that shirt is gray. Are you against gray people? I am. I am, yes. You, you heard peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are racist. Yeah, I did hear that. that I, never, I never could figure the logic down that one. Well, no, there's a lot. It's just meant to, to just tell us we're racist. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for Truth Seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at Infowars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at Infowars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find at InfoWarsShop.com, None Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com.